Our Norwegian uh, better experience the celebrity life. Just look at it. So we have made it to Burbudur. That's nice. Uh, before opening time, it's always uh, Torgeir, uh, Torgeir and I was uh, just talking about there's something nice being on the place before it opens. Like you, you're ready, you're stoked, you're ready to start a day and to explore something new. So we have Buddha Buddha Temple here behind us. We're actually quite lucky with the weather today. It's still clear, it might be raining a little bit later, but now, for now it's uh, not sunny, but it's not raining. You have some beautiful haze around Buddha Buddha Temple. Now we're walking around for around an hour and then at 8 o'clock we are able to go up. If you're entering Buddha Buddha now, you have two options. You can pay just to walk around in the park and stuff, which is the cheaper option. And you can pay to go up on the temple, but then you're doing it like together in a kind of a group, I think. So it's way more organized now than it was before COVID. My dream has always been to be on the top of Buddha Buddha in sunrise, but that apparently is not possible anymore. So, uh... So the guys here are very good at cleaning around and there are actually 98 people who enter work to clean Buddha Buddha temple every single morning. That's absolutely amazing and it makes the whole experience of being here way nicer yeah, when it's clean. Just knowing how beautiful Buddha Buddha is uh, tucked in the environment with the mountains and the jungle and everything around us here just like makes me tickling to fly a drone but it's not allowed to fly a drone in Buddha Buddha so uh, but uh, like it. I really understand why people want to fly a drone in this area because it's <laughs> Again, it's so nice to meet someone of you guys for following. He was a teacher in an English course, uh, seven hours from here, Kapare. I also have staff from Anchor who has been there learning and I know several people in Kuta who's been there learning English, which is very nice, nice program. So now our Norwegian people get to experience the celebrity life. Just look at this. Celebrity life. Oh my Yeah, you like the people it. are so nice here. Det bara pula. Och så blir det hadia. Ole ole. Luar biasa. So this is kind of a gift we can bring them home. So we are now in the group tour, group number six, together with a the guide. There's not allowed to walk on Burubudu without this group formation. When we enter the temple, we have one hour maximum at the temple and we always have to stick together as a group. So I'm uh, not running around on Buru Budur anymore, not possible. Uh, 
So we are the first group of the day entering Burubudu Temple. So before COVID, this place was open for everyone to go in. So you can be here from four in the morning to see the sunrise. Back then, it could be 30 to 50,000 people a day visiting Burubudur. Now it's the limit of 1,200 people a day from nine until three. This is so impressive, like all the details. The people building this temple, they used 100 years, over three generations to build Borobudur. And it's a lot of similarities to Machu Picchu and how the Incas was building back in South America. I've been so lucky, I've actually been seven times to Machu Picchu. So but to be here now, first time walking on Borobudur, actually quite excited. I'm so impressed, like how could people do this kind of stuff? like so many years ago and I don't think we could even do it now with all the equipment and every stuff we have nowadays so it's so impressive Like I have to be honest, I was really hoping to see this place by sunrise and to be up here and stuff but to have this place basically by ourselves. Now we are just our group, the 30 of us walking around here on Borobudur all by ourselves and it's so quiet and nice. Like, except the friends I know, the friends I have that's been there for sunrise, they said the whole place was packed with people for sunrise. But now we have it for ourselves. So there is some positive sides about the new rules that I, I just had to experience it to actually see the value. So Burubudu Temple is a wrap, highly recommended. Now we're heading on to Malang, so we have like five to seven, eight hours bus drive to Malang. So we made it to the resting spot and lunch spot and we found a proper uh, lunch spot I think, Sekulan. Here we have the buffet. Little lunch break is over, we got a point uh, coffee. I actually love the fact that you have points all around Indonesia now. 20,000 for a good cappuccino, that's, that's good, yeah, that's nice. Let's hit the road, still five hours to go to Malang, so uh, long day in the bus. The plan was to go, come to Malang and like basically straight go to the Rainbow City that it's, it's a beautiful place to visit in Malang but uh, this bus ride took a little bit longer time than expected. Now we're changing quickly and then going out to eat. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow will be an exciting day going to Tumpak Suru, one of my favorite waterfalls in Indonesia. So don't forget to watch tomorrow. Yeah? <laughs>